Why should I sail with any of you? Four of you have tried to kill me in the past. One of you succeeded. The former lead actor of the franchise said that he's done playing Jack Sparrow. Today, Screen Rant lists three reasons why Pirates of the Caribbean 6 can't succeed without depth. First and foremost, there's no getting around this fact. Johnny Depp is the heart and soul of the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. It's been said countless times, the franchise wouldn't be a hit without Captain Jack Sparrow's lovable anti-hero energy. Depp isn't the greatest actor in the world, but like his many iconic movie roles, he has developed Jack Sparrow into a singular and inimitable character. Notably, during Depp and Amber Heard's public trial in 2022, Depp made it plain and clear that he has no intentions of returning as Jack Sparrow. According to Depp, it was unfair of Disney to drop him immediately after allegations surfaced. In short, Johnny Depp very likely won't be in Pirates of the Caribbean 6. And even if the movie ends up being good, it will always remain in the shadow of Jack Jack Sparrow. This will become very apparent in the movie's box office performance. The world's still the same. It's just less in it. This brings us to the second reason. Without Johnny Depp, it will take a miracle for Pirates of the Caribbean 6 to even just match its predecessor's box office performance. The fourth movie, On Stranger Tides, made over a billion dollars at the box office in 2011. The fifth movie, Dead Men Tell No Tales, saw the franchise decline and made only around 800 million in 2017. These movies cost over 300 million dollars each, and the budget needed for Pirates of the Caribbean 6 is likely higher today. This means that the movie will need to make at least $600 million to break even, and a couple million more to be considered not a failure. Without Captain Jack Sparrow and with a fresh lead manning the ship's helm, this is a tall order even for Jerry Bruckheimer. To be fair, instead of being a sequel to Dead Men Tell No Tales, Pirates of the Caribbean 6 is taking the reboot route, probably the best way to deal with Depp's absence. Even then, however, it's never going to make as much money as the blockbuster sequels. The only way for Pirates 6 to succeed commercially would be by working with a low budget. However, this ultimately points to the third and last reason why the Pirates reboot will fail. The first movie's comparably low budget only worked because of Johnny Depp. Couldn't resist, mate. The Curse of the Black Pearl was lightning in a bottle. Proof positive that the Bruckheimer blockbuster machine spins genuine gold from time to time. For Pirates of the Caribbean 6 to work with a low budget and have any hope of making money, they would need an actor of Depp's caliber to lead the reboot. And none of those guys come cheap. Here at Screen Rant, we'll still line up at the theaters for Pirates of the Caribbean 6. But without Johnny Depp, we're also gearing up for massive changes to the franchise.